Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Jared, and I, I'm back with my uh, Let's Play series on Direwolf 20 pack. Um, well, I've been doing quite a bit since our, our last episode. Uh, I've got myself some quantum pants. I'm still waiting on enough uh, UU matter to uh, to get up to the point where I can get more, um, say, boots or whatever. I think I'm going to use boots next so I can get rid of these, because these, I think, are a little bit OP. Since they don't have any durability, they're just there's no way to destroy them other than uh, dying in lava or whatever. But um, um, these have basically the same um, same type of ability as as uh, the quantum boots do. As the quantum boots, you can fall from an infinite uh, distance and not take any fall damage. But uh, uh, there there is a, a EU durability type thing where you have uh, EU that it uses whenever you take damage, and you can just recharge it, which is really nice. Um, another thing you notice is uh, a little bit more solar panels here. These things are actually kind of expensive. It's been taking a lot of my copper, and yeah. So I'm working my way up to another um, medium voltage one. So that should be that should be fun. Um, got uh, my MS MFSU. The only reason it's up here is to charge my quantum suit. And earlier. I was in my, I was in the Nether, and there's about ten. I'm not joking. About ten gas that were firing at me. It was ridiculous. So uh, I wish I would have caught that on camera because it was pretty intense. Let's see what else. What else have I done? Uh, got a cow farm over there, and I got the cow farm primarily because I need leather. And uh, I have a new building over here that is right next to my Thomcraft stuff. This one is actually for enchanting. Um, I I'm not sure if this was in the last episode or not, but uh, I got a aqueous accumulator accumulator right there, and that's why it's automatically refilling this. So uh, that should should automatically refill, and uh, I can basically do my magic stuff whatever I want. Um, and in this room right here uh, is a normal enchanting room. Got a uh, anvil right here to repair stuff. I got it's, it's not on my inventory right now actually, but uh, you can see I've been doing some work with this. I've uh, done, spent a lot of time at my uh, um, my tier five zombie spawner over there, getting a lot of XP. I probably stand, stood there AFK for about two hours or so, and there's all the XP that was floating around my face was just you couldn't see anything. So I had to restart a few times, but uh, or just once, but. Um, so yeah, here's the enchantments I got. I got a bunch of efficiencies, uh, some protect out, uh, protection, disjunction, not sure what that does, Vorpal. Um, I'm still not positive on what it does, but I think, if I if I read this correctly, it's, it helps you get these more. And you can see I have three wither skull, skeleton skulls, and uh, that should give you an idea of what I, I want to do today. And um, <clears throat> here's, here's some more, more... Uh, there's the Vorpal, Power, Fire Aspect, Protection, Soul Stealer. I'm not entirely sure what that does in Thomcraft 3 because I think it basically, in Thomcraft 2, it uh, made a higher chance of getting Soul Fragments, which I don't think are in uh, Thomcraft 3, so I'm not sure. Um, there's Knockback, Infinity, Sharpness, um, Vorpal 2 again. Fortune three. This one, this one is really nice. I already, I already put one on my uh, sword. That's how I've been getting uh, some wither skeleton skulls, um, some projectile. There we go. So some unbreaking ones. Yeah, it, lots of these. Some I'm going to use. Some I'm probably end, going to end up throwing away. But uh, yeah, that's what I, I'm planning on doing. You can see here I got some soul shards. I had this one before. Um, it's one is a it's a skeleton one, but I've been doing a lot of of uh, killing around stuff, mainly in the Nether. And skeletons can rarely be found in the Nether um, now that the Wither skeletons are are in, which is this right here. Um, you can see here that I have uh, some tier two Wither skeleton things, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with to get more of these heads. And right here. A blaze, uh, and eventually I want to get this up to a tier five, but um, I don't know how long that's going to be. I'm probably going to go to the Nether and work with some of the the blaze spawners that are over there. But yeah, it took me forever to get that wither, uh, wither skeleton one uh, tier two. Um, 
yeah, I, I seriously must have been doing it for hours, but there's a lot of crossroads that, uh, you know, I'll just show you where it's at. Uh, let me charge this up real quick. And uh, one mod that I added is um, going to be in this pack anyway, um, so I'm not worried about losing it if he updates it. Um, but it's the charge pads. I haven't had anything, uh, I haven't built any yet, but if I type in pad, you'll see here that there's a uh, Laptronic, you know, all these charge pads. Uh, they're basically the same thing as these charging benches, which if you're playing, if you play Tech It, you're probably familiar with these a little bit. Um, basically it has a little internal buffer and you can uh, charge whatever. The charge pads, in a way I like better because you can stand on them and it'll automatically charge all your armor if it's a high enough tier. Like, Quantum won't be uh, uh, charged by the static one. It has to be a higher high one, which requires an MFSU. Um, I think they're about the same uh, expensiveness, um, like the tier one uh, charging benches, these things, and this. They're about the same, uh, I would say, and and how expensive they are. Um, so I think I'm just going to use the charge pads from now on. Um, so let's see here, being watching this, it's been giving me quite a bit, but um, yeah, I probably should hook this back up, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, anyway, I am going to do something that uh, I've been wanting to do for a long time. My friend went caving, and he ended up finding a, a dungeon, and the dungeon had a, a chest in it with a portal gun in it, and I was like, how, how do you, I'll show you how expensive it is, and this is why I've been trying so hard to get these. If I were to go portal gun and check out this, it doesn't look all that expensive. Maybe this, and that's what's really expensive. It requires another star, which is extremely rare. Um, so that's what I want to do today. Is that's why I have uh, some soul sand, some some uh, um, wither skull, skeleton skulls, and everything. Uh, but I want to do it in a little bit different method than than. Uh, you might be thinking, actually, I need them in here because this is where my glass. I store a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of skeleton skulls as well, um, and the sword that I was talking about, when I enchanted, is right here. Looting three, Vorpal four, so got some pretty good ones. Yeah, and uh, I am going to go over. Where is that? It's it's over this way. You can see I have a new little. Uh, marker over there for saying oil village there's a huge uh oil spout over there like i've never seen one this big um and then over near that is where i want to want to do something that i'm going to call a wither arena i'm not really going to be fighting it i'm going to do it the, the lazy way using suffocation damage and um i'm going to sleep first and then i'm going to go head over there and um i'll see you when when over there because i it's going to be a little bit of a journey Alright, I didn't go straight to the mob arena. I just uh, ended up going right here. And to, just because I wanted to show you the massiveness of this oil spout. It has this big old barrel right there and a huge um, spout up in the air. And it comes down all the way all the way over here. Yeah, it's it's really big. So I want, really want to get started on buildcraft uh, um, stuff. And it even comes over here and has this big old pond. Yeah, it's amazing. So I'm going to head, op head over to the mob arena, which is over there, Wither Arena. In between those two is another really large one that's not quite as big, but it's it's tall and has a big old bot base to it. Uh, I'll say bottom. But I think that's because of a tree, now that I'm looking at it. So, But it's still pretty big, so might as well work with it. But uh, here I am at the, the arena. It's actually pretty close. Wow. Um, this is where I want to do it, and I'm doing going to be using a, a, a method by CodeCrafted, um, and for this I'm going to take off my jetpack. Um, basically I have to go up 20 blocks or so, uh, and then that's that's so the, the wither doesn't target anything. These uh, It'll target, I think, these... Uh, what are these called? Squids? And... Um, the reason I, I didn't choose somewhere in the middle of, of these places is because a little bit closer to those, so just in case it finds like a cow or whatever, I don't want it to shoot because that would just ruin the whole thing. So I'm going to be going up about 20 or so blocks. Um, that should do, I think. 
Now, um, I am going to start building this uh, um, wither suffocator thing, and uh, it's kind of a long process, not too long, but um, I'm, I think I'm just going to cut the video and uh, come back whenever it's done. So, look at that, another spout, looks like. Jeez. Looks like I'm struck a, struck a pretty rich area. Nice. All right, hey guys, I did the building. Um, this is Codecrafted design on his easiest way to uh, kill the Nether. So all I have to do is place the heads and stand right here. Um, so I have the soul sand and everything set. And if I did this correctly, which I would not be surprised if I didn't, um, all I have to do, come on, this jetpack sometimes quite annoying. There we go. So. Um, all I have to do is place these heads ready for this moment of truth and I have to quickly switch to this and fill this in and jump down so uh, I have about five seconds so ready hopefully there's no lag bam good so then I just stand right here Nope. Oh, cry. I did it wrong. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's okay. This is pretty simple anyway, with this uh, nano sword. Good star. Come back. Haha. -ha. All right. So, uh, this didn't work out as I planned, but, uh, it's still pretty neat, because I got the wither, wither, bleh, bleh, wither star. That's, that's what I really wanted out of it. I also got a, uh, shard of minium here, too. Nice. I didn't think they dropped it. Um, but, yeah. So it didn't work out as planned. There was a whole bunch of building for nothing, but still, it was, uh, it's probably just because I did something wrong. I, I doubt it's because of, uh, code crafted design but either way it works so I'm gonna head home uh, which is that way that's why that's why I love raised mini map is because of the markers because I would never been able to find out which way to go but yeah that, that was that was easy enough with the uh, with the uh, nano saber worked out nicely it was probably a lot better that way anyway so I'll learn from that next time and whenever I need a wither star that's what I'll, what's all, what I'll do, but next what I want to do is uh, build a portal gun, and um, then I want to, uh, then what I want to do is I want to make the, 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 um, the soul shard uh, spawner for the wither skeletons. That's, that's going to be a lot of fun, because they're a little bit different than most mobs, and uh, so I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, figuring out what's the best way to, uh, um, to capture them. So I'm going to sleep through the night so we can get some despawnage going with these mobs that are currently spawned. Like this one that's right over here. What is it? A creeper. Yeah. Definitely need to get rid of this guy. Goodbye. Love this. I love this sword. Alright, so uh, let's come over here see where our, our mass fab is going. Eh. It's not that great right now. But, oh well. Uh, cool. So anyway, let's uh, go in here and let's start building our um, our portal gun. So first, I'm going to work with this black hole thing. So Ender pearl, pearl dust will come from smelting uh, one Ender pearl. So that's that should be pretty easy to do. Let's get some sticks and uh, throw one in here. Should smelt it up and get create eight. Hmm. Yep. Eight. And then I should put another star in the middle and uh that'll be perfect. So uh, I need to go right here. I've never built one of these, so I could be wrong, but if any eye is right, I should get a the miniature black hole. Awesome. I've been really wanting one of these, so now I should get up some obsidian which I think are in here. Let's try it again. Now I need to get some insignia, which I think are in here. Uh, one more time, I think are in here. 
Oh, no, I only have one. That's okay. I'll just use my turtle and borrow some from my portal. Uh... Then next, I'm gonna need to work on that door because it's driving me nuts. All right, love my interface here. So dig, got the second one. Cool. So another thing I did was I made this uh, another uh, book linking book. So now I have both my linking books: one at the village, one that was right here. And I put them both in the, the nether, so I think I should be able to teleport between them two. But, uh, oh well, I, not really. Man, I'm I'm tired, can you tell? <laughs> so I'm going to put my turtle back here, and let's try this. Um, I completely forgot what I was doing again. Alright, so now I need a diamond and some iron. That's simple enough. Here we are. So, diamond in the center. Um, actually, I'm going to use a diff... I'm going to actually use this one, because I think this one's not bugged whenever I use this. Yeah. Whenever I do that that same button... Yep. Whenever I do that same button in uh, uh, cra uh, other crafting table, the project table, it kind of bugs out some. It's kind of annoying, but... What are you going to do? And here we are. Portal gun! Heck yes. Now, I don't know how to use these, actually, to be honest. So, uh, I think this is what you do. Right? Why can't I see? Ah! Cool. That's amazing. Push fall. Ha! Uh, That's awesome, and I think R closes both of them. Yep, cool. Um, so, next episode, what I want to do is I want to uh, combine, uh, or I want to move everything over to the village. So, um, first I'm going to place a portal right here and see if it actually works. Maybe it's out of the trunk, I don't know, so... Um, this one's blue. If I go to the nether, come out right here. Then village. Should be in the village. Aha! Awesome. So now, let me just borrow this guy's uh, church or whatever it is. And I should be able to teleport through. Oh my, this is amazing. This is incredible. Awesome. So, I am going to get busy on moving some of my stuff over there. And uh, next episode, I'll probably have enough iridium to uh, make some, some boots. And then I can move my IC2 stuff and build a, a little building over there. But, yeah, I, I can't wait. Um, I'm not sure if I want to move everything over here because, I mean, I spent a lot of time on this. Or not a lot, but quite a bit. Um... I might just have them separate places, so the node over there, which uh, I think I showed you guys. If not, I did make some uh, goggles of revealing, so I want to show it to you. If I didn't show it, if I already showed it to you, uh, I apologize, but uh, of course my goggles of revealing are one of the few things that I have already moved. Makes for good good video, right, whenever you're unprepared. <laughs> not really. Here we are. So, uh... Right there. Look at that. Has some of those uh, flux um, lightning bolts coming out of it just because the flux is moderate right now, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah. So I can't wait to get the, the rest of my, my armor set done. And then what I want to do is I want to wage war on some pigments. So, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.